بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله from the adab or the manners of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, those pristine manners that we want to strive our best to have. Because where do the manners of Ahl Sunnah come from? Where do is this something that we go to particular individuals of the Salaf? La Abidin. We go back to Nabi and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you want to know what is going to make your da'wah successful, if you want to know where your da'wah should be and where your, your benchmark is, what is the khutwa, what's the path and the plan that you need to follow, it's going to the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, not even to individual imams. Because we look to those imams of the sunnah and we see what their statements and their actions, how they are on the scale of the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu And one of those uh, characteristics that we need to actualize, we have to actualize, we have to, is being just. Just with Ahl sunnah and just with Ahl al-Bid'ah and just with the disbelievers. Those people who delete, disbelieve in Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. We need to be just with everyone. And a lot of people don't understand that. Definitely the extremists don't understand that. The takfiris and others, they don't, that's not even a, justice doesn't mean anything to them. It's just lip service because they don't know how to treat other human beings. And especially anyone who disagrees with them. For them, it's just, it's takfir and bloodshed. So we're not even talking about them. But we're talking about those people who ascribe to the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam that they, if they're true in their speech, that they are from Ahl sunnah and from the mistakes that we've made in the past is not being just with the people. Just in your refutations even. Refutations are from the religion. Refuting deviance, refuting bid'ah, refuting that which goes against the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Have the imperative, this is, this is uh, an obligation. Someone has to do it. We need this from our scholars. We need this from our, our, our tulab al-ilm and our different mashayikh and the people at their different levels of knowledge. That they have to have justice. They've got to, everyone's got to be just. How do we know this? Uh, Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, qal, i'dilu, huwa aqrab lil-taqwa, wa attaqu allaha, inna allaha khabirun bima ta'amaloon. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, He commands you in the imperative form, i'dilu, be just. And when we have in, uh, something in the imperative form, in the Qur'an or the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, that means the asl of that command is what? Al-Amr Yafid al-Wujub is that the command shows that it's an obligation. Have the asl. Then there's other, of course, there's exceptions to that, but that's getting into a sul fiqh, meaning that there's other, uh, uh, you might find other nusus, meaning from the Qur'an and the Sunnah, to show you that it's not an obligation, that it is uh, of a lesser, uh, a lesser command, okay? That something is recommended. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us in the beginning, He says, be just. And then He says, huwa aqrab li taqwa. Because it is closer to taqwa. And we're ordered to be, to have God fearfulness, to, to, to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Salaf used to say, some of the Salaf defined it as, Al, to, to, to do the awamrillah, fulfill the commandments of Allah, and avoid the prohibitions of Allah. So it is doing the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it is staying away from His prohibitions. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited something, then you don't need to be doing it. If the Prophet sallallahu said something is haram and prohibited, then you need to avoid it. Have a taqwa. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here is saying, be just. Why? Because it is closer to taqwa. So that's the path to taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is being just. So if you want to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you want to have the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you want to do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands you to do, if you want to follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you want to follow the minhaj of the salaf wa salih, you need to be just with everyone. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, it is closer to taqwa. And then Allah commands what? So the, the beauty in this ayah, listen to this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you to be just. He's ordering you to be just. And he said, and that's from the path of taqwa. 
And then he commands you with something else. He says, what taqullah. Then he says, and fear Allah. So it lets us know that Allah is explaining that you need, uh, he's commanding you with justice, and that leads to taqwa. And then he commands you that you better have taqwa. Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa taqullaha inna allaha khabirun bima ta'amaloon. Verily Allah, uh, and fear Allah. You know, Allah is commanding you with taqwa. For verily Allah is all aware of what you do. So Allah is commanding us here to be just. He's commanding us with taqwa to fear, fear, be fearful of him, follow his commandments, avoid his prohibitions. And then he lets us know and he warns us, fairly Allah is all aware of what you do. So you can't get away. Your, inju your injustice is known by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So all of those people who refute, who are unjust with the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they're going to be dealt with. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all aware of what you do. You can't escape from Allah. You may escape from the people. The people may be clouded. They may not realize how unjust you are. The people may actually applaud you for being unjust. How many people applaud people who are refuting people based on injustice? based on personalities, based on hizbiyah, based on all kind of qawaid and usul, which differ from the qawaid and usul of Ahlul Sunnati wa Jama'ah, which comes from the book and the sunnah. How many people they applaud and they share in injustice? But we're ordered to be just. We're ordered to follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're ordered to obey Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Wa'ati'u Allah wa'ati'u rasul. Obey Allah and obey His Messenger. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to bless us to be just with the creation and do our duties and responsibilities with sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad.